Could XRP reach a staggering $20,000 valuation? As audacious as this might sound, Ripple's trajectory seems to suggest just that. Ripple is gearing up to channel more funds into the XRP ledger, a move which could inherently boost the value of the XRP digital currency. The firm's recent strategies indicate a shift from targeting everyday investors to focusing heavily on institutional players. But this isn't just some hearsay or a brief snippet from an upcoming video. The Ripple director himself has elucidated this stance. Ripple is realigning its interests, placing less emphasis on retail investors. They've even contemplated offering an exit strategy for those holding XRP, aiming to repurchase it. This strategy is geared towards luring more institutional investors into their fold. At its core, the workings of the Ripple system are straightforward. RippleNet and its associated XRP token are products extended to businesses by the Ripple Corporation. Institutions then use this allotted XRP to streamline transactions with partners across borders. Once the deal is sealed, Ripple earns a commission for the system usage in the provided XRP. As more entities adopt the Ripple framework and receive XRP, Ripple's revenue in terms of fees keeps growing. As always, welcome back to MoneySide, your go-to spot for everything XRP related. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for up-to-the-minute updates on all our XRP discussions. Enjoying my content? Show some love by hitting that thumbs up and share your views down in the comments. For Ripple, engaging with retail investors isn't as lucrative or appealing as you might think. They're not too keen on circulating XRP among the general public. Now, let's zoom into a segment where the Ripple director distinctly states their strategy. They are, in no uncertain terms, nudging retail investors away from XRP because that's not where their primary interest lies. Now, taking a step back, many dive into the crypto realm with a single goal, trade and turn quick profits. Is this short-term profit-driven approach shaping the evolution of cryptocurrencies? It's a classic chicken or egg scenario. First and foremost, you need a thriving market. Currently, there are anywhere from 100 to 5,200 exchanges globally trading XRP. A substantial chunk of this is driven by individuals looking for fleeting gains. But Ripple isn't chasing that fleeting shimmer. Instead, their target is more ambitious, to position XRP as a strategic financial tool, a bridge for sophisticated institutions. Do these short-term traders disrupt the waters? They certainly create a buzz, which Ripple could do without. But change is on the horizon. The tide is slowly turning. In the recent quarter, for instance, institutional players scooped up the majority of XRP sold. The real transition will be evident when the scale tips decisively away from retail traders and leans toward institutions harnessing XRP for broad-scale financial operations. From the video's content and the straightforward remarks from Ripple's director, it's clear. Ripple is shifting its focus away from retail investors. Instead, they're keen on repurchasing XRP from these individual investors, reallocating it to institutional entities and generating revenue from the resulting transaction fees. That's the grand strategy, whether it sits well with us or not. It's all about directing the revenue flow and attaching it to the XRP valuation. Remember the speculation that XRP might eclipse Bitcoin's price, which we touched upon earlier. It brings us to the burning question. Is there any truth to the bold claims that XRP could skyrocket to $20,000 or even more. It was in an article dated June 3rd, 2023, that I stumbled upon a revelation that was nothing short of astonishing back then. Arthur Brito, one of Ripple's co-founders, projected an XRP value of $10,000. The rationale? XRP's worldwide scalability. The underlying principle was that XRP was architected with a $10,000 valuation in mind, ensuring it could scale sufficiently to cater to the global population population of 7.5 billion. This article underscored Bredo's ambitious vision for XRP, showcasing his unwavering belief in the digital currency's vast scalability and widespread adoption potential. According to the article, setting a lofty target price of $10,000 for XRP would position it as one of the most coveted digital assets in the market. Herschel Abridger's emphasis on global scalability reinforces the idea that XRP is designed to facilitate large-scale transactions. It's a testament to its potential to seamlessly weave through various industries and reach diverse populations, all while maintaining transparency. This widespread adoption isn't just theoretical. We're already seeing signs. From global banks to financial institutions everywhere, the integration of XRP is evident. Even national central banks dabbling in digital currencies are not exempt from its influence. Essentially, entities, be it organizations or countries aspiring to launch their own central bank digital currencies, are partnering with Ripple harnessing the power of the XRP ledger. 
But the expansion doesn't stop there. Rumors are circulating about Elon Musk's intentions to delve into the cryptocurrency realm, potentially integrating it into the payment framework for X.com, a platform poised to make substantial waves in the finance sector. As a reaction, a high-ranking official from Ripple weighed in, suggesting that X.com would greatly benefit from and might indeed integrate XRP. Highlighting these speculations is Brendan Barry. As Ripple's chief of payment products, his insights are especially noteworthy. With a storied career history that includes stints at giants like Amazon and Slack, his perspective brings added weight to these discussions. Taking a look at his recent tweet about XRP, it's clear that the topic is on his radar. He shared a coinkly graph which hinted at the potential of X's platform integrating cryptocurrency in line with its ad revenue sharing model. This sparked wide speculation. Is X's platform set to weave in cryptocurrency payments? Reacting to Elon's tweet, a sentiment was expressed. For X to truly rise as the premier platform for creators, cryptocurrency should be at its core. Here's my take, stripped of humor for stark clarity. To be the pinnacle of honesty and excellence, X should consider compensating creators in cryptocurrencies, or what could be dubbed the currency of creators. If I were a creator, this would be a game changer. However, there's a catch. The average payout for a creator might dwindle to mere pennies after factoring in foreign exchange costs, wire fees, and the like. Unless X maintains a pool of funds in target markets, a strategy that's capital intensive, the cost for X to transfer earnings might exceed the actual amount owed to the creator. Plus, the platform would have to pivot toward towards creators with existing bank accounts, which is limiting. Consider this. 20% of the global populace doesn't have access to traditional banking. Traditional cross-border payment mechanisms? They're sluggish, often taking days, and surely don't align with Elon's vision of the best. Enter cryptocurrencies. If X embraces this digital currency to reward creators, it could revolutionize payouts, offering immediate transactions and unparalleled financial agility. Both fiat-backed stablecoins and prominent cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, ETH, and XRP each bring unique benefits to the table. If X aims to differentiate itself, they could truly revolutionize the creator payment model by leveraging cryptocurrencies for immediate, continuous payouts. Imagine this scenario. X compensates a content creator every hour using cryptocurrency, reflecting the revenue generated from associated ads and user engagement. These creators could then, if they wish, instantly convert this cryptocurrency to fiat. By partnering with entities that offer efficient crypto off-ramps, creators could have immediate access to traditional currency in their respective countries. For X, the cost savings are palpable. Paying creators with X crypto would likely be more economical, avoiding the exorbitant costs associated with pre-funding international wire transfers. Thus, creators enjoy real-time payments in their preferred currency, while X benefits from enhanced cash flow. This model isn't just revolutionary, it's a genuine win-win. Such a strategy is promising for both Bitcoin and XRP. By harnessing the power of XRP, payments to creators become swift, and cost-efficient. Moreover, platforms like Twitter, potentially rebranded as TwitterX.com, stand to gain significantly. They would no longer need to earmark vast sums as capital reserves in different countries just to settle payments with their content creators. In this ecosystem, everyone from the individual creator to the overarching platform stands to benefit. Please remember, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content. I'm excited to catch up with you in the upcoming video. Take care.